Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the official trailer to Anek. This is directed by Anubhav Sinha. He's also one of the writers and one of the producers. This is starring Ayushman Karana. This comes out May 27th, 2022, so mark your calendars if you don't want to miss it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Please hit that bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this video up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. India, India. मैं इसी इंडिया की सुरक्षा के लिए काम करता हूँ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया में नॉर्थ ईस्ट मतलब वेस्ट बंगाल के पूर्वी साइड वाला इंडिया मिशन था टाइगर सांगा और इंडियन गवर्नमेंट के बीच शांति समझौता करवाने में मदद करना वाली है हाँ? ये पार्लर है अगर आइडियो को भी टीम में ले लेते हैं तो ये टीम जो है इंडियन बनेगी या चाइनीज हमको चिंकी बुलाते हैं वी डिन नॉट वॉन्ट इंडिया नॉर्थ ईस्ट में 30 से 40 एक्टिव अलगाव वाली ग्रुप थे अचानक एक ग्रुप ज्यादा एक्टिव हो गया जॉनसन सच सच बताओ किसके लिए हथियार मंगवा रहे हो विशा चलो ये बाहर निकाल लू जहाँ से खुद निकलना नहीं आता वहाँ जाता नहीं मैं अपा बोलता है हम लोग इंडियन नहीं है इसीलिए मुझे इंडिया की टीम के लिए खेलना है मैं तेरी फाइट के लिए चेयर नहीं कर सकता तुम मेरे फाइट के लिए चेयर नहीं कर सकती हम सब ऐसे ही ट्रेजिडी में रहते हैं चालीस विलेजेस में पोस्टर लगे हैं इसके सपोर्ट में पीस अकाउट के अगेंस्ट इसको रोकना होगा टाइगर सांगा बाकी सारे ग्रुप से बात हो चुकी है हमारी अभी जॉनसन जॉनसन कौन है आई डों की आवाज को रिप्रेजेंट करता एक बार सुनी जा सकती रोज रोज नहीं सुनी जाएगी और अगर सुनी जाएगी तो सब जगह नहीं तो कहीं नहीं वायलेंस इज नॉट अ सोल्यूशन सरेंडर कर दो अगर इंडिया के मैप से स्टेट के नाम छुपा दो तो कितने इंडियन हर स्टेट के नाम पे उंगली रख सकते हैं ये है नॉर्थ ईस्ट टीवी पे एक मिनिस्टर बोल रहा था त्रिपुरा मिजोरम का कैपिटल है ना इतना भी नहीं जानते कि दोनों स्टेट्स के नाम हैं। आप कहां से सर तेलंगाना साउथ साउथ क्यों सर क्योंकि मैं साउथ इंडिया से हूं। पर तेलंगाना तो तमिलनाडु के नॉर्थ में है सर पीपल ऑफ तमिलनाडु शुड कॉल यूर नॉर्थ इंडिया मे बी आपको क्या लगता है मैं कहां से हूँ सर नॉर्थ इंडिया ऐसा क्यों लगता है आपको क्योंकि तुम्हारी हिंदी साफ है तो हिंदी डिसाइड करती है कि कौन नॉर्थ से और कौन साउथ से नो सो इट्स नॉट अबाउट हिंदी ईदर कैसे डिसाइड होता है सर नॉर्थ इंडियन नहीं साउथ इंडियन नहीं ईस्ट इंडियन नहीं वेस्ट इंडियन नहीं सिर्फ इंडियन कैसे होता है आदमी कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं कि ये पीस किसी को चाहिए ही नहीं पर ना इतने सालों से एक छोटी सी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं हुई जीतेगा कौन हिंदुस्तान I remember very clearly the first night when we arrived in Mumbai and our friend came to pick us up and her friend was there and we were just like wait hold up <laughs> you're indian cuz he didn't look like our idea of what a typical indian person looked like sure. to us cuz sure. yeah cuz he he looked more chinese and he's like no i'm i'm indian or he looked more northeast indian yeah he looked more northeast indian right yeah. but 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 to a lay person who doesn't know you'll just immediately assume you've got some chinese blood or you're chinese right ever since i met him and learned more about northeast indians i've been fascinated because i don't see them being represented a lot in mainstream indian cinema right i, I think we're seeing it more we are, and more but, we are yeah. seeing a shift and i think that's great yeah. and i think that this idea of asking what is indian like what makes you indian like that that whole uh dialogue exchange towards the end of the trailer where he's talking to the south indian man it's like just kind of 
showing that it's all about perspective, right? Because if you're like from a certain place, then where that guy's from is going to feel like north of Tamil Nadu, right? Even sure. though he considers himself a South Indian. There isn't anything that really can pinpoint what makes you north or south Indian so much because it's just so fluid and variable, right? But the one thing that everyone has in common is that they're Indian. That is an interesting idea to explore. And I wonder as well if the radicalization of these people in Northeast India, and I'm, I'm speaking from a very ignorant place, right? Because I don't really know the history or what's going on, but I wonder if that, that feeling of anger that the people in the movie who are taking up arms against uh, other Indians if maybe that feeling comes from feeling like they don't belong, like they're not welcome. And so, of course, they're going to feel angry. I just think it's interesting that the movie's kind of addressing that. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I assume maybe he figures out how to sort it out and it's going to be a patriotic film in the sense of like, well, let's yeah, I mean, unite all of India. Yeah, I mean, that's ultimately the, the hope. I think that's the aim. That's the obvious aim of the movie is to say we're all one people. Yeah. So why do we keep acting like we're separate people? Exactly. And throwing this sort of racist derogatory terminology at this group over here when they're part of our country. It's just fascinating to me on a more, I guess, a global level, you know, macro scale, because you know you have these countries that fight other countries, right? And then within each of those countries, there is fights happening. Yeah. And then within those fights, there's even more fights happening. And it's like every level, there's like weird fights happening. So. For instance, you know, in the States, we don't necessarily get along with the, you have, okay, let's just look at politically, right? You have the, the people on the left, people on the right. Yeah. Right. And so you have Democrats and then the Democrats, if you look at the factions within Democrats, they're probably fighting with each other. And then East Coast versus West Coast people fighting with each other about who's got the best pizza or whatever. Then within the West Coast, you have gang fights, you know, yeah. uh, of street gangs and whatnot. It's like, there's always like these multiple layers of uh, multiple levels of fighting. That's just so bizarre to me. Cause it's like, we're all one people when you get down to it. Yeah. We're all stuck on this spinning rock together. It's fascinating to me that we can always find ways to just create these divides between each other. And it's like, moreover, in the same country. It's wild to me. Everyone has their reasons, you know, you when you're entrenched in the throes of whatever that battle is that, you know, is the most important thing to you that you, it's the hill that you're willing to die on. You're not really thinking about the macro. What you're thinking about is that fight you're going through in that moment and why. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I can't understand it because it's like, I'm not in that. As someone who is of mixed descent, it's even more confusing to me. I'm like- Well, I would imagine that it might be almost easier to relate in a way because- Well, then you have the inner turmoil, right? Because of the clashing cultures. Yeah, exactly. Cause yeah. you're like, I'm, I, I kind of relate to one culture, but I am also a part of this other culture. Like which one feels more true to me, neither and both at the same time. I think that a lot of people look at Europe as just one big entity, right? I remember when I was 14 or 15 years old, I was talking to this, and I've mentioned this before a handful of times, I was talking to this 19 year old Irish guy who's like from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how, you know, back home, English uh, uh, cops would show up in their paddy wagons, whatever you call it, the English equivalent is. Mm -hmm. They would show up in their paddy wagons and throw people into the back and beat them with batons and then drive off. I'm giving you like, a, a secondhand version of this story that was told to me when I was a kid. Yeah. But just like the notion that cops, law enforcement, English law enforcement would fuck with Irish people. It's like, but why? You're both white. Like, why are you messing with each other like that? What, what is the superiority complex that one group of white people has over another group of white? You're in the same pocket of land. I don't understand this. And so- History. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just saying it's like, yeah. you wouldn't think. Right? Why would these two groups of people who are so close together, who for all intents and purposes probably have very similar bloodlines, why would why would you do that to each other? It's just, there's always like these little fights everywhere in the world that just, it's just insane to me. One of my concerns with watching this was just that here we have a movie which seems to be representing a lot of people from the Northeast as being terrorists, right? Or violent or something. Seeing as, like I said in, in the beginning of our discussion, that there isn't so much representation of of Northeastern people, although that is changing in, in mainstream cinema that we've seen. I hope that it isn't just gonna be like, oh, they're all bad or something like that. But I feel like that's probably not the case because no. we've got like the, the well, female you have the Rome, character. You have the Romeo and Juliet story at the center of it all. Well, yeah, there's that. And then also with 
who the director and writer is, I feel like it's not going to be that direction. Like it's going to be deeper than that. And it's going to make us question like how we see right. the world and, and how we see each other, you know? I mean, it certainly helped that Ayushman Karana was like having that little speech where he's having a go at his friend in the car. Yeah. That helped to crystallize what the point of this movie was. Exactly. Because up until that point, it felt like a lot of gray. And yeah. I, I really wasn't sure like what angle the movie was going for. I mean, I had a suspicion, but up until Ayushman Karana said what he said in the car, I was like, okay, that, that's definitely what this was. Like, I suspected that it might be going that way, but I wasn't sure. Anytime Pakistan has come up in a conversation, there's a number of Indians who chime in. Like, you get all kinds of colorful comments, right? But there's a number of Indians who chime in and say, we don't have a problem with Pakistani people. We have a problem with the government. Yeah. With their military. And I go, yeah, me too. We're on the same page. But like, there are a number of people who, who don't have just, who are not limited to having a problem with the government. But, I just, I'm, I'm, let me stay, you know, hooked onto one thing here. And it's that people are like, people come at me and say, we have a problem with the Pakistani government, not the people. And so what you're seeing is the government factions at odds here. And in the center of it, you have two people who have managed to find a way to have a kinship with each other, which is Ayushman Karana and the Northeastern lady who's boxing. So to me, I see that as a Romeo and Juliet in the throes of like the Cap Capulets and the Montagues sort of thing. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's a pretty good comparison. So anyway, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed some of that. Do let us know your feelings in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon, please all notifications and vote this up. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.